All right, first things first, we're gonna show you the interaction that lets Serato hunt Stego without immediately dying sometimes. So you'll see we land the bile inducing attack here. The Stego swings, but no damage. So what happens here is if our attack that induces the puke animation lands before the Stego's tail hits us, we take no damage. The priority is for the bile animation. All right, so we've seen the mechanic that lets Serato fight Stego. So things you can expect from this fight is a time to kill of probably at least 20 minutes going on into the 45 minute range. So make sure you have food and water and are ready for a long fight. And you're prepared to possibly die because it's risky. Next, we're going to go over the basics of bile and see why that interaction works and the limits of it that keep us from taking damage. And then we're going to look at tactics. And I like to split the fight up into a P1 phase and a P2. It's very simple. And we'll look over some gameplay footage of us fighting Stegos on Hutch's server, actually, which was very fun and go over some tactics and how you wear them down and stay alive and all that so enjoy the video there will be bookmarks below sections timestamps so you can go to wherever you want boom so how do we get something to throw up so this is phase one our initial puke when we bite something in serato it puts this brown thing into their stomach if that goes above what their current food is then the target throws up this lasts for one minute in their stomach if you don't bite them again it will go away and you'll have to start over and you can see the different levels of attacks do different amounts of the bile into the stomach so this is what it looks like when you get something to throw up and that is phase two basically so everything here is going to be about phase two so this is a fully charged right mouse button attack and you see how much bile it puts in there so after it's thrown up once and it doesn't eat any more food you're gonna you know you're gonna get that throw up every time when you charge the right mouse button right and that gives us that interaction that we first saw in the video where you don't take the damage it has a cooldown of a minute in between throw ups so you have to wait right you have to wait that minute and then you can do this again and stack bleed and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but if you don't wait the minute cooldown, if you're too early or something, you can definitely get hit and killed easily. Okay, so phase one is getting our first puke on the target, right? This is probably the most dangerous part. I recommend using left mouse button attacks only and doing a lot of baiting, as you can see, trying to sing how, see how they swing, and then landing attacks in between the swings to try and get that first puke. And you do have the minute that it lasts in the stomach, so you have some time to um, feel them out, see what they swing to, try to get to, try to get them to hit their friends. Honestly, it's easier to fight two Stegos than one. <laughs> it's it's way easier most of the time because they'll hit each other. Panicking. All right, we're feeling them out. And boom, we got our first puke here. So now phase two starts for that Stego, right? We know what his food's at. So a fully charged right mouse button is going to make him puke every time if we wait the cooldown. And then you just rinse and repeat. Uh, sometimes we have we have stopwatches going in the group. You don't have to. It, it's better to uh, give yourself a little extra time on the tail end than to than to do it early. And yeah, so rinse and repeat that. Do a lot of baiting. Try to get their stamina as you start to stack up these fully charged bites and get them to swing and get their blood low then their stamina is not coming back 
Uh, you're doing more bleed because they're low on food and water, possibly taking damage from water. Try not to let them sit. Make them move around as much as you can. Make them waste as much damage as you can because that adds up as you start to get these bites in. And you can see what we're doing here is I made this call. Everyone just start charging your right mouse button, right? Just to confuse them. And we designate people who are gonna actually go in for a hit. You'll call it out, right? So you call it out ahead of time, but we have everyone charging so they don't know which way to look, right? And that lets us get someone with a, a clean entry to land a bite. Now we're just gonna watch this fight and talk about some random extra information and things like that. So, uh, if one of your team does get one shot, you know, they do get killed, it's actually kind of a boon to you guys. Uh, first of all, because you'll be able to fill your bile back up. Second of all, if the stegos stay on top of that body, they're no longer going to one shot you because you're going to have the, um, the body down buff the Serratos get. So it takes a headshot from killing you um, to not killing you. So if they're standing on top of a body, you can actually tank a shot. So it's good information to know, like, if it's been a while since you've bitten them and it's like, all right, we need to, we need to get in there and like get some work done. Oh yeah, poor Mamba got, they, these guys, they had a croc uh, helping them out. And this is on Hutch's server. <laughs> And but you'll see by the end of it, we had them up on a rock and uh, they got slayed <laughs> for for mixed backing. But we we were on these guys for so long. Very fun fight, um, you know. And when they finally do bleed out, it's like chef's kiss, brother. After your first couple times of getting some clean hunts on these things, you're going to hear stegos and you're just going to be like, oh, like you're just going to run for them. <laughs> so super fun. Uh, have fun. Be careful. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.